Hey guys, welcome to Science Gully. In today's video, we are going to learn how to use a temperature sensor LM35 to measure room temperature. Friends, there are different types of temperature sensors. Some require direct contact with the object that is being monitored, while some do not require. Now, let us have a look at different types of temperature sensors. First one, thermocouples, infrared sensors, thermistors, semiconductors, thermometers, and resistor temperature detectors. Out of these, you might have used thermometers. You might have also come across infrared sensors which are used at the airport for contactless temperature screening. Thermometers are direct contact temperature measuring sensors while infrared are non-contact temperature measuring sensors. LM35 about which we are going to learn today is a semiconductor temperature sensor. It comes in the form of ICs. It gives analog output voltage which is directly proportional to the temperature. It means as the temperature increases, the output voltage also increases. It can measure the temperature in the range of minus 55 degrees Celsius to 150 degrees Celsius. The sensitivity of LM35 is 10 millivolt per degree Celsius. So what does it mean? It means that 10 millivolt represent 1 degree Celsius. For instance, the output we get is 100 millivolts. So 100 millivolt divided by 10 will give us 10. So the answer will be 10 degree Celsius. The next attribute of LM35 is that it does not require any external calibration circuit. Now let us see the architecture of LM35. When you look at it from the top, you can see a semicircular shape like this. And this is its flat side which is its front face where you can also see LM35 mentioned. It has three pins. VCC, out and ground. When you hold the sensor like this and look it from the front, you can see three pins. In the center, you have pin out. At the left, it is VCC and right, pin ground. Now let us understand these pins in detail. VCC should be connected to power supply in the range of 4 volts to 30 volt. Out pin gives us analog output which is directly proportional to the temperature. Ground pin should be connected to ground. Now we are going to use Arduino Uno R3 board to measure temperature using LM35. Now let me explain how to make the connection of LM35 to the Arduino board. Now let us see the various pins of Arduino Uno board. At the left side we have power pins and analog pins. And at the right side we have digital pins. But we are going to use only power and analog pins. In power pins you can find 5 volts and ground. In analog you have a set of pins from A0 to A5. But we have to connect to A0. As we have seen, we have to connect pin VCC to 5 volt and out to A0 analog pin and ground to the ground of the Arduino board. Now let us see how to make the connection using breadboard. Take your sensor and place it on the board. Insert it inside. I have placed the sensor in the breadboard and I have kept the flat side facing towards me. The left pin is VCC. Here the fourth pin is 
5 volts and we have to connect it to VCC. Here the first pin is A0 which we have to connect to output. So the middle pin is the output pin. So we will connect A0 to it. Same way here the second pin is ground which we have to connect to the right, si right hand side pin of the sensor. In this way we have connected our sensor to Arduino Uno board. This sensor measures the room temperature which we are going to see on this serial monitor. Now I will connect my Arduino board to the serial port COM2 of my laptop. Now I'm going to open my Arduino IDE. It is loading. Starting. And it is open. You can see this program. Now I'm going to explain this program. On analog pin A0, we are going to get output voltage. Here in variable val we are going to get the output in millivolts using the inbuilt function analog read. This output will be in analog which we have to convert in digital using this formula which I will explain later. Variable mv we are getting the output in millivolts. That we need to convert in Celsius. As we know the sensitivity of LM35 is 10. So we need to divide MV by 10. The final output in variable cell will be the room temperature in Celsius. Which we are going to print in the serial monitor. I will explain analog to digital conversion using the formula. We are getting 10 bit analog signal and storing it in variable val. Analog signal has a minimum value of 0 and maximum value of 1023. We have to convert into a digital signal of 0 volt to 5 volt. So finally the value in millivolt will be while divided by 1024 into 5000. Make sure you divide the reading in millivolt by 10 to get the temperature in Celsius. Now it is time to run the program. So go to this upload icon. Now your program is compiling. It is uploading now. And done uploading. After this go to the tools. And select serial monitor. Here the room temperature is shown as 30.76 degrees Celsius. Now let us compare this reading with the reading from internet. So you can see currently at my place it shows it is 31 degrees Celsius. As you can see the reading shown by our sensor is close to the internet reading. Sometimes you may get a difference of 1 or 2 degrees Celsius and I will tell you the reason behind that. LN35 measures the temperatures of the surroundings up to 500 feet. Whereas Internet gives us the average temperature of the entire city. So sometimes we may get a difference of 1 or 2 degrees Celsius. Thank you for watching Science Valley. I'll be back with another video soon. Till then, bye-bye.